Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. I'm Big B. We got the Delta Force Vortex 34 on the block. This is a fully custom built hydroplane. Okay. Today we're going to upgrade the ESC. Okay. This is a Castle Creations Hydra XLX2. <laughs> it ought to have plenty of oomph. <laughs> All right. So uh, stick around, you guys. Stick around. Big B. We're Ironclad. So yeah, this boat started off like, oh, it, it had a rocky start, man. My maiden and about four or five runs after that, uh, I had the ZTW 200 in here and I had, I had some odd handling. It was like go, doing all kind of spit and popping, hopping, carrying on. And, uh, man, it was driving me nuts. You know, we thought it was prop steer and come to find out the whole time it was a, a, a servo glitch. The, the servo would glitch on when you give it throttle and only glitch when it's under a heavy load it would glitch and and and, and kick the whole back of the freaking boat out man so um we're, we're ripping this bad boy out I, I had to disable the bec and run an external battery just to run the boat okay so man i, I am like extremely excited to get this freaking ESC at this boat. I'm not even kidding, man. Not even freaking kidding. I haven't been able to run this boat like I want to, you know? I, you know, I've got 35, well, actually now it's closer to 40 boats that I have to take care of and keep running and, and, and uh, keep you guys occupied, you know? Upgrade them, do this and do that, buy props. And uh, it, it's tough. It's tough. Guys are like, don't run cheap couplers and collets. Sometimes you got to run cheap parts, you know, especially when you have as many boats as I do. And that's not even all of them. I've, I've got them everywhere, boys. So uh, this is not a cheap speed control. It's not. But it's probably one of the better speed controls you can get nowadays. You know, the X8S was my... my my other option it would have been much lighter for this boat and i really i don't know if i'm going to kick myself in the butt for going xlx2 or not you know all right so basically what you get in your box you get your hydra the, the speed control you get some uh some extra large bore nipples okay it comes with a small bore nipple you get an extra large bore nipple we'll probably run these you get a sticker pack, the quick start guide, and a coupon for the Castle Link or the B Link. Okay, a free Castle Link or a discounted price on the B Link. Okay, the B Link and Castle Link is a tool that you use to program this speed control. The speed control has so many par parameters, programmable options. Uh, this is what your castle link looks like. It hooks up to your, your ESC and the computer, laptop, PC, and uh, or you can use the, the B link, which hooks up to your receiver basically, and you program your ESC with your cell phone. Now, I've actually had better luck with the castle link than I have the B link. The B link's extremely convenient. Uh, you can you can tune in your timing adjustable BEC uh, you can look at data logs on your cell phone out in the field <clears throat> but I've actually had a couple of issues I was uploading uh, data my parameters to the ESC on my phone and I was getting some phone calls probably some notifications emails coming in all that information coming in on my phone and it actually shut down my ESC I had to do a factory had to use the castle link to do a factory basically a factory reset okay so when you're using the B link put your phone on do not disturb very important okay Hopefully you could throw any motor prop choice basically at this thing and it's going to hang handle it uh it's a nice looking speed control it's a fully cnc cased okay uh waterproof i'm a testament to that i've gotten salt water submerged it in salt water and 
rinsed it off and the thing still works i don't recommend salt water on it but it's waterproof you got a uh, eight millimeter bullets here hard mounted eight gauge battery wires um got this wire harness that's replaceable you can pull this if something happens to your wires they get wore out you can replace it with an on off switch really long rx auxiliary wire here um, it's 180 amp continuous with a burst of 350 amp i know guys i personally have pulled 400 plus from this esc and the temps were in the 120s okay i know guys that have pulled 500 amps 500 plus from this esc okay um i probably could have went with the x8s all right i could have done it i could have went with the x8s in this boat and it would have been perfect but uh i, I wanted that headroom you know uh this thing has a, a 20 amp bec adjustable voltage on the bec data log um it, it's a robust unit and i highly recommend it if you're doing like bigger boats you're running higher kv motors you know uh this thing will pretty much handle what you throw at it uh they recommend well you you must run an eight millimeter bullet for your motor uh eight millimeter connectors for your battery or better eight ten millimeter i'm using the qs eights if you're going to wire up your uh your wire harness here in series you'll need an eight millimeter or eight gauge excuse me uh wire for your series run okay and um <clears throat> i'm basically going to get these connectors soldered up real quick okay and uh we'll get this thing in the boat uh so like i said it's kind of heavy so is the ztw especially running this bec battery so i'm going to weigh the ztw and this bec battery together and this guy and we'll see what the weight is before we get it installed all okay right. so i got my qs 8s soldered up all right and once i got it all done i was like geez i forgot to put heat shrink on here i wanted to put heat shrink on it the last one i didn't put heat shrink on from moving the wires around the wire frayed right here and uh i already had these caps on and everything and i was like i'm just not i'm not gonna uh, screw it i'll just cut the wire i'll cut the freaking wire and retin it and put new connectors on whenever i do that you know all right so i got this scale zeroed out here so we got the ESC on 412 grams for the ZTW 200 plus the BEC battery I was having to use. 500 grams on the ZTW. So let's see what this XLX2 weighs. Oh, it's lighter. Hell yeah. 428 grams. Let's freaking go. Hell yeah, 75 grams lighter, <laughs> give or take. Cause I was having to run this, you know? Damn right. Oh, that's freaking awesome. Yes, sir, yes, sir. You know what I wish I would have done whenever I decided to go eight millimeter on all my batteries? I wish I would have used eight millimeter bullet plugs. You know, eight millimeter, instead of these big heavy, connectors i mean these things they they add up you know those qs8s are heavy yeah four four qs8s 88 grams you know 88 grams and a, a regular bullet connector is probably a, a quarter quarter of the weight and and with eight millimeter bullet connectors you can go series or parallel like that no extra no extra uh no extra like loops or anything you know wire harnesses oh, i wish i would have done that i guess i could go 
eight millimeter bullets still, but um, I would literally have to change out, golly. Oh man, 25 batteries, probably 15 boats. Oh, it, yeah, that would take a long time. So. That looks good. That looks really good right there. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. So, my nipples. Let me find my big nipples. And I think I'm gonna have to splice in some different color tubing for right now until I get some more black. So I'm replacing the, the small so I'm replacing the small nipple with the the larger board included nipple. Just using a little bit of Loctite here. It will help seal it up. Okay. I don't want to get it too tight because those nipples will break off. Alright, so with this ESC, my cooling line just ain't going to make it. Yeah, it ain't going to make it. So I, uh, I was looking through my, my, my cutoffs here. And I found, well, I found some purple and I found some pink. I also had some extra white here. And I think I'm going to use a white. I got a uh, an oversized brass tube here. And this is going to, like, press fit on there. Okay. For one, I oversized it so I don't restrict flow whatsoever. And two, oversizing it without, like, a barb. Our, our cooling line shouldn't come off, you know, so I'm basically going to press this on there with these uh, little slithers of silicone line cut and stretched on, so it should keep it on there, it shouldn't blow off, alright, so yeah, we can get this water cooling extended and uh, I'll cut back in. Okay, so I'm just making sure I don't have any leftover, like, double side tape here, you know, where my, my old ESC was mounted. Just using an old little paint scraper here. Alright, and go ahead and clean up my, my cooling lines while I have them out. Got another piece of a paper towel here, a clean one, to clean up where the ESC is going to be mounted. Really scrub it, scrub it clean. Definitely don't want an ESC breaking loose in your boat. Alcohol to clean it, same thing on the ESC here. Got another clean one here. More alcohol. Okay, let that dry. Finish this off. And then we're going to put some of that. Oh, I hope I have enough. Oh, I should. Um, 3M Extreme Mounting Tape. That stuff's pretty good. You guys seen me. I had to get two flathead screwdrivers in there and pry that, X, uh, that ZTW out. Okay, so I got everything clean. Everything clean. Went over these ESC and 
the boat several times. Yeah. Yeah, so I went over my ESC and the boat several times. This um, mounting tape, it's just like epoxy or anything else, really. You gotta give it time to set up and it needs to have some pressure put on it. And it needs to be clean. <laughs> Not roughed up, but it needs to be cleaned up. Clean the area good. You know? Yeah, I actually trust this mounting tape. This 3M Extreme is pretty good stuff. Definitely don't want to touch it if you can help it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and run my cooling lines through just in case. Okay. Get all my wires consolidated. Okay, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna apply some pressure to it. Okay, so that looks good. I'll get this out the way. This is going back here. Need to make something for that switch to mount to. We'll plug in our cooling lines. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. good so I always go middle I started to do my ESC this way but figure I, I get more adjustability this way I always do my middle ones first then we'll do the outside and I'll need to check polarity well I guess on the XLX2 you can you can change it. You can change it up in the speed control, you know. All right, it looks good for right now. Okay, so if you look in your um, your operator's manual, you'll you'll see the auxiliary wire is the white one and then the RX wire is the yellow one. So the yellow wire goes into channel two or yeah channel two okay goes into channel two your white wire goes into an auxiliary channel we don't need this anymore this is a rx cat pack so i'm not going to use that there Okay, you guys see that? Servo, throttle, auxiliary. Okay. So I don't need this extension for my servo anymore because this has long wires. So we can get rid of that extension. That extension was actually really small gauge wire in a I needed it on another boat, so uh, when you get extensions, make sure the extension wire size matches up to your servo or your wire size, you know. So now we can run this back here. 
somewhere because we got long wires okay all right so my hatch wouldn't go all the way down so i took my torch and i burnt some of this foam <laughs> all right so that my wires are kind of tucking up under it i'll probably end up cutting another piece of foam out but uh, it's just a quick remedy sure my hatch goes all the way down oh yeah <clears throat> okay okay so I got one battery plugged in here and I'm gonna double check Double check my, my double check my wire orientation. Okay, my my wire configuration here. This is an expensive ESC, and I definitely don't want to make a mistake and reverse my polarity. So negative, positive, negative to positive, and then negative out. That looks good. All right, so let's turn on my transmitter. Go ahead and plug in my batteries. ESC is off. Radio on the model you're using. Make sure your your receiver is binded. Make sure it's all binded first. Uh, hold full throttle. Turn ESC on. A green light what you meant and then it'll flash red you go full reverse and then yellow neutral okay so you'll see a, a green light okay green red full reverse okay yellow neutral it, it took it okay so right now we should have power we got power okay all right we're ready to roll not really we got our polarity backwards so we're going to unplug it I, I could go ahead and change this up in my uh castle link but uh i'm just going to change it up makes sense okay see we don't have any reverse got throttle sounds good need to grease my cable i didn't grease it yet so yeah yeah we got her we got her stuck down our water cooling's run all i need to do now is mount my my, my receiver i'm going to probably go up upside down on the top side here and what I like to do is take some of that double side tape, a little strip of it, and tape, double side tape, my, my wires to the top side, you know. I'll actually, I'll actually peel me a little piece off, put both wires, I'll put both wires on it like that. Okay, and then take this. And then just tape this under under the top side. Like so. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I got my own off switch mounted right here on the side. Just double side taped it. Velcroed my, my receiver in right here. Okay, got my new 7600s in here. So, a uh, new ESC, new batteries. All right, we got a new prop we're going to try on this boat. This is a, uh, a 1921. We're going to try it for a speed pass. I got this 1917 high rake we'll try. I uh, just got a new order in from, from uh, Offshore Electrics. I got a 1616 right hand because I... I lost my prop the other day on my twin Delta Force Vortex. So I gotta match this prop up and get it balanced up. 
I got a 1916 right hand, okay, to match my left hand, okay, for my animal twin cat. All right, so I got to bounce this guy and match the props up. Oh, uh, I also have a 1916 on here. This one's modified. It's reduced blade area, slightly reduced diameter. So uh, with this setup here, we should be able to run the stock 1916. And we'll be able to do a speed comparison type deal. Uh, should be able to do some ovals and, and get this boat in the 65, 70 mile an hour range in an oval configuration. That's what I'm planning on. Uh, got Like I said, I got these new batteries. Um, I, I definitely need to uh, hook up the B-Link and, and go through my parameters, make sure the timing matches my motor, make sure all my parameters are right, set my BEC and my cutoff voltage uh, so uh, links for everything I used in the description the whole full build parts list in the description um, I'll include the batteries and uh, the link to where you can get some ABC props so uh, we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching Big B with Ironclad RC